welcome or welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how many books i can read in a week and this is mostly going to be like a chill vlog i'm not going to force myself to read as many books as i can in a week it's more like how many books i can realistically read mostly because i just want to show how it's this is more realistic than like other people who like read 50 books in a month and it's like that's not everyone like not everyone can do that and that's okay so we're gonna start with monday strong with an emily henry book now this book has been on my radar for a while mostly because whenever i finished reading beach read it was like all i wanted to do was just binge a bunch of emily henry books so we're gonna start with book lovers and see where this one goes i love the cover of it it's so cute i love all of emily henry's covers they're so so cute so we're gonna start with this one and see where this one goes Okay, so I finished reading and I actually don't know how many pages I read. I'm trying to look on Goodreads because I usually put at the end of the day how many like pages I've read. Um, but it's not loading, of course. As you guys can see, it's saying page unavailable. And then I also have my computer up trying to see and it's still saying the same thing. But I remember being around 150 last time yesterday. So I read around like 107 pages. Usually when I go to work, I bring my book with me i didn't film at work because i forgot my camera because i was very much in a rush in the morning like i had a couple minutes to just grab everything and i forgot my camera but good thing i didn't forget this one because this is obviously like the most important because i read a lot in the morning and during lunchtime so if i didn't read or if i didn't have my book i wouldn't be able to read as much as i did and i want this to be realistic as to how much i read during a full-time job because not everyone is you know doing this full time so yeah this is more realistic to my standards this book is good it's definitely different from beach reads um the main character nora is a little more power hungry which she can have a pretty strong personality so if you guys don't really like that you guys might not like this book but i personally like that and reading this book i'm really glad that i started reading this book now because if i would have read it last year i would have actually dnf'd it because past me would have thought this was boring but now as a reader i've definitely changed to with the books that I read and this is definitely a good book to me I haven't really read that many like strong female characters in the sense where Nora is she's just a strong character so like if someone tells her something she's just not going to, to take no for an answer Charlie is also kind of in the brooding side too but a little bit more I think he's a little bit more looser than Nora for sure she's a little bit more uptight and I like their banter Emily Henry does really good with bantering which that's basically what I look for in her books because she's just so good at it and it's really funny seeing two characters you know bicker with each other in the beginning they just didn't get along and they had some traction and they like bumped head when they first met so when they meet again in this current situation they are they're not really enemies to lovers they're more kind of like co-workers and like they work in the same space because she is a publisher and he's an author i believe and he's basically writing a book for her for one of the authors that she works with because she went on paternity leave she had her baby so charlie stepped in and he's writing the book for her and she thinks that the book is basically about nora so yeah she's just not really happy with the way people are portraying her it's a really interesting book and i really really enjoy it so i'm just gonna call it a night and we will pick this up tomorrow and i will for sure not forget to bring my camera with me because obviously we're doing this as a full-time work early so yeah we're gonna see each other tomorrow and see where we end up going i really hope that i finish this tomorrow i am really aiming for that because i need to know where this goes i need to stop rambling and start getting ready for bed so i will see you guys tomorrow I finished reading book lovers and I am at a loss 
I think that this is probably my favorite Emily Henry book. I still haven't read Happy Place, but I really do think that this book is my top, my top two favorite books of this year for sure. It wasn't just about romance. It was also about Nora finding herself and coming to terms with not having to be in control all the time and kind of finding herself and finding peace with what happened in the past because something really traumatic happened with her and her sister and her having to deal with it and her suppressing a lot of it throughout the years. I cannot recommend this book enough. I think that I like this book obviously much more than Beach Read. I just, I just felt so much for Nora and it just felt very realistic like this book wasn't trying to shove a conflict at you at all like everything that happened just happened naturally I, I need to put this down because I, I can't I can't right now I'm very much in a high and that's what you're experiencing right now it's just me being happy finding a really good five-star read and this is how it goes <sighs> moving on from that ugh, I don't know which book I want to read next I kind of had a couple books planned out to read this week mostly so I can tackle my TBR and these have been on my top this one mostly because I just finished reading Caraval and I really wanted to get to the second book but I'm not really feeling a fantasy right now I feel like I need a thriller right now so I think I'm gonna start with Never Lie but I'm gonna start reading this tomorrow because I can't do thrillers at night so we're gonna continue this tomorrow and start with Never Lie Okay, so it has been like a couple days. Well, honestly, it's been like technically two days, but I didn't read anything at all on Thursday, mostly because we had our moral event for our work. And afterwards I was beat out so, so tired. So I did not read at all. I actually went to sleep pretty early. Today it is Friday and it is about to be nine. And I had a really long day today too. So I'm hoping to read the rest of um, Never Lie today. Like I'm just gonna binge it let's see if like my insomnia i guess that's what it is is really strong tonight because if it is then i'm just gonna read um never lie i am 19 percent into it i think that i want to drink an energy drink i'm not tired but i still want to drink something because i do want to pull a little bit of a all-nighter to read this book so it's basically about trisha and her husband they just got married and they're gonna go see a house during a snowstorm and the house house actually belonged to a psychiatrist that ended up going missing out of nowhere they haven't found her body at all and they find her tape recorder or she does Trisha does and it takes you from the psychiatrist perspective and then present day to Trisha's point of view so it takes you through two people's different point of views judging off the other book that I read of her the inmate I kind of feel like it's going to go in a similar route where I think I know who it is so we'll see if I'm wrong don't know where this is gonna go I really hope that there's like a twist that I just don't see coming because those are my favorite part of thrillers. So let's continue reading. Listen to the critics. They try to steal you from your feelings for a cash. You tell me with the two hands. I'm too bad. Wonder what your fans are like. Need me to get your bills paid. That's what you said. I'm running a couple errands and I have to wait like 20 minutes to go get some stuff. So while we wait, I'm going to start our next book, which is The Spanish Love Deception by Alina Armas. I think it's like fake dating where she has to find a date for a wedding because her ex-husband or fiance or something like that is going to, to attend. And she has to go all the way to Spain, I believe. Yeah, so she needs a date for her sister's wedding, especially because her ex-boyfriend is going to be there. And her ex-boyfriend has a fiance, so they're eager to meet her current boyfriend, which to me, I'm like, I have no relationships with you. Like, you are my ex for a reason. You don't need to know my story at all. So I think this is going to be a good palate cleanser because Never Lie was pretty brutal just because there were other vi victims involved in this one 
one too and i didn't see it coming at all actually like my theory was actually not correct at all so it was good though the ending was good and there were a lot of twists and turns that i didn't really expect so it was really good it's just it can be a little heavy especially thrillers can be pretty heavy especially to me just because i'm not really used to thrillers and like i don't like like the dark aspect of it and like the killings and all of that i usually only read a couple a month like maybe like two two to three but i usually tend to not really want to read too many at the same time because they can be a little bit mentally just draining because of everything that happens in those books and because they are obviously darker because they're thrillers so i think that a rom-com is the perfect palette cleanser and i've heard a lot of really good things about this one especially because it's the first book in this series i don't know what series it's called but the other book is the american roommate experiment i believe i don't really know much about this author either i just know that people really enjoy this book i'm going to start reading this one and we shall see where this one goes okay so we have good news and some bad news i think that i'm going to dnf the spanish love deception mostly because i don't like how cheesy it is from honestly from page one that i was not gonna like this just because of the way that it was written it was like really cheesy and i'm just not in the mood for really really cheesy rom-coms like i know i said i wanted a rom-com but i don't want that kind of rom-com if you know what i mean this is the good news i got people we meet on vacation by emily henry i have about like 20 ish 30 minutes until my hair appointment because i'm gonna get a haircut and yeah i'm gonna just read until my appointment and then once i get home i'm gonna continue reading so yeah let's start reading and see where this goes i truly don't know what this is about at all either but i kind of want to just go in blind i don't want to read the back so yeah let's start so judging by the intro i am filming both the intro and outro outside in the same day because i wanted to wait until i finish people we meet on vacation so i can give you guys my reviews for it too just because i was already showing you guys that i was reading it and i didn't really update you guys on how i felt even like through the middle because i didn't complete the book in that week now let's actually start with the first book now book lover is going to be my top favorite book of this year for sure so i'm gonna give this book a five out of five it is my favorite book for sure i cannot stress it enough if you guys have not read this book yet i highly highly recommend the second book that we read was never lie by frida mcfatten now this one was also a good book but it's not my favorite thriller it was just kind of in between where i didn't hate it but i didn't love it like it was just kind of like in between it was definitely a really good thriller though it had a really good twist and i did not see the ending coming either and my theory was actually incorrect so yeah if you guys do love thrillers though you're gonna love this okay so i dnf'd one of the books and that one was the spanish love deception and i was just not in the mood to read a really really rom-com book i just kind of wanted something in between where it wasn't too cheesy but it was also kind of like you know like rom com -y, but not too much if that makes any sense so i picked up people we meet on vacation by emily henry oh no i did this i just did this i just bent it this now completes my entire emily henry collection i have all her books i was actually very disappointed with this book just because it just felt really flat for me i just didn't connect with the characters and they just didn't really seem like they had any chemistry and i didn't know that it was kind of like a second chance trope and i'm just not a fan of them i hate hate second chance tropes i really do i cannot do them because it doesn't i just don't feel like second chance tropes should be meant at all because it's a lot to do with like miscommunication and people not really telling each other their feelings because they already feel them but they just don't want to talk about them because they're either too stubborn or they're too chicken about it and it goes through their vacations from past to the present and even their other vacations i just didn't really seem like they were necessary the title is a little misleading just because they don't really meet each other on vacation at all like they didn't meet on vacation they've known each other since they were in college so i just don't understand the title of it i thought that she was going to meet him 
on vacation but they don't they just like meet each other on vacation because they live in separate cities and states so the title is very misleading so just so you guys know it's not really people that meet on vacation they just meet up I forgot to show you guys how many books or how many pages I read this entire week so on Monday I read 107 pages Tuesday I read 120 Wednesday 56 and then Thursday I didn't read anything because I was beat and I was tired Friday I read 278 that's when I kind of I guess binged um, never lie and then Saturday I read 112 pages because I DNF'd Spanish Love Deception and I didn't read too much of people we meet on vacation I read that one throughout this week I think it took me an additional like two to three days total I read 673 pages I feel like 673 pages is a good amount and I'm just not gonna stress about it I think that either way like if even if I read 100 pages a week I'm still gonna be proud of it because I I would rather read than not read if you know what I mean so yeah don't stress about it if you guys don't read as much as other people do it's your own pace and it's your own journey with reading books I hope you guys like this video if you guys did make sure to stick around and subscribe I hope you guys had a great time watching this or listening to this if you guys were doing this or watching this during the background I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one